The coronavirus pandemic drove many voters in Florida to cast ballots by mail instead of in person. But some weren't sure they could trust the state's election system to count their ballots. Even though Florida had a record number of mail ballots in the general election in November, it also had a smaller percentage of those ballots rejected than in the 2016 election. That finding is supported by a new report from the Division of Elections. In 2016, there were 2.7 million mail ballots cast in the general election. Of those, 1.68% were deemed invalid for a variety of reasons, often because the signature on the envelope was missing or did not match the one on file at elections offices. In 2020, 4.7 million ballots were cast, but get this, less than 1% were invalid. We all saw a reduction in the number of rejected ballots. Orange County election supervisor Bill Cowles says the reason is the cure, the affidavit that can be filled out by the voter to correct mistakes on a vote by mail ballot, like missing or mismatched signatures. They're taking responsibility to ensure their vote counts. It's very important for your vote to count, fix it, and voters responded. We had phone banks calling them daily. Uh, messages sent to them. Uh, so the chatter was there that I want to get mine fixed, and they did it. A West 2 News review of mail ballots in eight local counties revealed the number of mail ballots in 2020 was double that of 2016. But while more than 4,100 mail ballots were rejected in 2016, just over 2,700 were rejected in the November election. But local supervisors doubt Florida will switch to all mail ballot elections. The overwhelming utilization of vote by mail this year is only because of the COVID virus. I think most people will uh, still prefer in-person voting. Greg Fox, West 2 News. Supervisors are also encouraging lawmakers to consider allowing vote centers. Those are areas that combine precincts to allow people to vote in person anywhere in the county that they live in. 